Hi Pisces, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh my goodness, what's what is coming in for Pisces? What do they need to know? You decide the choice is yours. Have an eagle eye view. Okay, the feminine energy. Find closure. You're at the end of a cycle, but be careful. There's some sort of knowledge here. That's interesting. But now's your chance to act, act quickly. Hmm. As always, the you decide is about karma, having free will, choosing what you want. This card talks about moving towards your destiny and your goals, but it's also to me about a card of seeing things from a bigger picture, from a higher perspective, so you kind of know what's going on. So there's something here that's ending. You may be ending something or something has been has come to an end or you left something behind. I get keeping things to yourself or you're going to find something out with this air spirit knowledge card. What is this air spirit knowledge? Hang on. Some of you may be leaving a job or you know like there's something here that's ending, a friendship that's ending, a situation. What's this air spirit knowledge? Strength. Could be a Leo, but strength. Something's coming. Judgment. There's something here that just isn't working for you. It's a partnership, a friendship, a, a, a something like that could be a relationship and you know that it's just like you want to move away from it. I feel like there's someone who could be could, who could have stabbed you in the back or hurt you or something. It doesn't have to be a love relationship, but it's a situation where as I split the deck, I even see you with the three of coins. I feel like you put effort into something and it just didn't pay pay you back well enough. I mean, this could be a job. There's something here I feel is disappointing you. And it's like, this didn't work out how I was hoping. It's not what I thought it was going to be. I'm disappointed. I need to move on, but I don't really know what to do next. This card coming out and this card tells me there's something else showing up for you. And it says, now's your chance. Act quickly. So something could be presented to you. It's kind of like you're in a fog, you know, and you're kind of not sure what to do next. When this comes towards you, it's like grab it and run. It's like something that could definitely be beneficial for you. So... But did I clarify this one or this one? I'm not sure. Um, what is this? I be careful. Okay. Yeah, there could be an earth sign that's leaving or you're leaving an earth sign or a job or something. You may feel like this person is disconnected from you. Again, it could be a person who just, I feel like this person is absent-minded or they're just not, not thinking about you. They're not helpful, something like that. I mean, it could be a breakup, a relationship, coworker, something like that. What is this? Now's your chance. Act quickly. Messages, fast messages coming in. Unknown messages with the moon energy. Four swords. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. Four swords and nine of swords. Yeah. So what's Ace of Wands is under the deck. There is okay. There's a situation here that's ended. It's ending. It's it's over. You're kind of like I feel like kind of sad or lethargic, or you're just kind of like maybe a little bit in the fog, not sure what to do next. You're going to receive messages from someone, maybe a Pisces, but that's your energy, so probably not, unless you're dealing with another Pisces. But it's to me, it tells me it's something out of the blue. Don't sleep on it. Don't rest on it because you're going to miss an opportunity. I feel like it's from a person, Knight of Swords. Maybe an air sign doesn't need to be. It's. Um, I don't think you're going to have to worry if you say yes to it. It's kind of what I'm getting. What's this Knight of Swords? Fool. It's a brand new beginning. Could have something to do with home, family, um, a new place to live. It's something very homey. It's something that's going to make you feel like... It, so it could be a new person, but it, feel like, it feels like maybe it's somebody that you know, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, let me clarify that. So what I'm kind of getting off of you is kind of like you have this energy where I can feel it like you're kind of in between. You don't know what to do. You're kind of a little bit sad, a little bit confused, a little bit like lethargic. It's like it's kind of just like an empty energy I'm kind of feeling. And it, it's not, it doesn't have to go to the worry. It doesn't have to go to that if you take this opportunity that's going to be um, coming towards you. And again, it doesn't have to be specifically love. So don't expect like it has to be like a proposal of love or something. But it's something maybe from family or friend. Yeah, anxiety. Still hoping for a soulmate. Ghosted. You know, something ended. Liquid courage. Can't let go. Unfinished business. Too intense. Unexpected ex-lover. Divine timing. Okay. 
I feel like some of you, you have an ex or something that's hanging on. And if you were to go back to that, it would be a bad choice. It's like, it's good. It's lingering. You have this lingering energy, Pisces. It's weird. It's kind of like you're in between phases, in between worlds. You know, that card in the other deck when it says you're in between worlds is how I feel. It's like this not knowing what to do. And if like, let's say there was an ex or someone that's king of coins or some energy. If you went back to it, you know, it's a waste of time anyways. You just kind of know it's like not really there anymore. It's not meant for you. This person is someone also who maybe they drink too much. They disappear. They don't give you energy like this past situation. Something new is coming in. I kind of wanted to clarify that more. It was, I feel like this is talking about something, something else, but it's showing here easily like to move on from a situation and take this new situation that's coming in. And I think the be careful card is like, you know, something is done. It's shipwreck. It's over. Just don't go back. This person is going to try to get you back to sit with them, but they don't really love you. They don't really care about you. They're just lonely. So they kind of want to pull you back towards them where that would be just a waste of your time. And you know that, um, let's go. I'm going to, I want to know spirit, the new thing. There's like something new. It looks like coming in for Pisces. Somebody may be wanting to go or to a bed and breakfast or open a bed and breakfast. Some of you may be having someone who may be like a mother figure or a mother reaching out to you. You may be invited on like a short getaway, like a girl's trip or something, or like a girl's weekend or brunch or lunch or shopping or something. Go is kind of what I'm getting. It could open a new door for you in a different area. Somebody may know something and they want to tell you something. Someone might give you some money or give you a gift or something. This feels like a, uh, like, I don't want to say a friend vibe, but a family vibe, something like that. Um, what else is, what is going on for Pisces? What is coming in here? The wheel is turning. You got toxic energy here. See, you have something toxic hanging around that kind of wants to keep pulling you back, but it's a waste of your time. I can tell you have a new decision. You always have a decision. You don't have to do what the spirit has got in mind, but in the hidden position is deception. There is going to be some sort of new like opportunity offer idea. Ace of wands with the ace of swords being offered to you, the four of cups. It may not seem like much at first, but with the page of cups, it tells me that it is something that you might like or love, or, I mean, could it be new love? Absolutely. Pisces, but with the 10 of cups, yeah, it could be something long-term actually, but I kind of read it more as like, it's starting out as a friend vibe or a family vibe. So maybe this is a work situation that's trying to get you to go back to it. And it's like, you're smarter than that. Or it's a situation where like this person wants to keep you around, but it's like, they don't really. I feel like someone's telling you like, we can get back together or I'll give you that raise you were asking for at your job or this or that, or let's give this one more chance. And it's kind of like, you know, you have other options. Like you could have other people, someone new coming in. Or you also are confused about this king of coins or showing me that this is like somebody who you don't know really what they're feeling. You're hoping maybe it's love. You would like to keep be with this person and stay with them, but it's not love. They keep doing the same thing over and over. Um, it's, it's like a toxic situation. I feel it's one side or they breadcrumb you, but you put a lot of effort and work into the situation or emotion and they end up kind of just bailing. Yeah. King nine of, yeah. Nine of wands. It's like they use you for a good time. Let's go out and eat and drink. They get their way. I'm not saying necessary physically, I mean, it could, but like you guys go out and then they just kind of like leave you hanging. It's not going to go anywhere. This past situation is not going to go anywhere. It leaves you feeling empty and alone. There's a soulmate connection there, but it's a karmic. And so it's coming back around. So this is not showing me. See, if you go back to the past thing, it's just a waste of your time. Listen to your intuition. You need to start something new or do something new. I get there will be an opportunity here that you need to go towards. You're nervous. You're worried about this new opportunity. Like, how is it going to turn out? But it's better than what you're in. There could be a fire sign who treats you really well, who gives you things, gives you time, gives you money, gives you their energy, gives you gifts. Um, that's what you need to go towards. Yeah. You need to manifest this new thing. So they're showing it like the past person's an earth sign, the new person's a fire sign. It does not have to be, obviously, it's just easier to explain it that way. What's coming in, look at there's relationship possibly coming in. What's underneath the sun? Stability, communication. The past person is gonna blow up though. 
they're going to be pissed off and they see that you are not giving them your time anymore but you're going to be left out in the cold pisces it's going to be a repeating cycle this past person just wants to like use you for your your when i say body i don't mean physically i mean it could be but i'm saying like just your like they don't want to be alone so let's go and eat and have a drink and then you know i'm happy and then i'll go home so and then they just kind of leave you hanging that's what i'm seeing here spirit can you we gotta switch decks because that one wants to talk about the past one i don't know if they're trying to hide the new thing six of cups fell out of this deck too so you'll be surprised yeah you have a yeah the past thing is just seven of swords what is the new thing spirit what is the new person the new situation Knight of Coins, Ace of Swords, the Tower, the Two of Coins, and the Sun. Under the deck is the Ten of Cups. For some of you, I feel you may find out someone has moved or moved toward where you live. Maybe they want you to come over and visit. Um, maybe a Scorpio. I don't get Scorpio or, you know, very strong, but a Tower. It's like someone else has moved. Yeah, there could be a fire sign who you're communicating with. or a fire sign who's connected maybe to your family or your past or something. This person could be somebody long term or it could be a stepping stone to something else, like depending on who they are. And when I say family, sometimes we consider people close to us as family. We don't actually have family. Um, so it's an invitation. So you're going to get it one time and they're going to say, hey, why don't you come over and let's go to lunch together or as a family, let's go to lunch or help me unpack or I don't know something. And you might be like, yeah, I don't really want to today. I'm, I'm lonely. I don't feel good. It's a masculine energy who's nearby. And nearby could be like an hour or two away. It just means it's not like in another state or country, okay? So don't think like it has to be down the block. A friend, acquaintance, maybe a coworker. Could be an Aries for somebody, so it definitely could be a fire sign. Another anything else? All right. <clears throat> Nothing's popping out there. Um, what is what does Pisces need to know? Some sort of separation right now you're going through, but you deserve love. Also, give this new relationship a chance. Let go of control issues, Pisces, and this person's worth waiting for. Yeah. What is going on for Pisces, Sun Moon Rising, and Venus? Pearl hidden. I love this card. This is always, I can maybe it's a, a Scorpio thing. Like, I don't know, but when something's hidden, when you find like this gem, you know, like a pearl that's hidden inside the shell, um, you know, he's coming out right there. It's like, this is something like wonderful. Something has been hidden from you. That's why they're not really showing us details, but it's something, a blessing for you, but you have to let the past thing go in order to um, be able to receive the new thing. What does Pisces need to know? Yeah, the hammer card. Usually this is talking about sabotaging, trying to rebuild something, working something out, repairing it. But it's usually, you know, once you got the hammer, that means it's been destroyed, it's been smashed, and now you're trying to, like, rebuild it. So, but paradise, happiness, joy, playfulness, enjoying each other, honeymoon phase, the butterfly, expanding new phase, healing the inner child, and releasing the past. It's definitely, like, the old versus the new. What are you going to choose? What are you looking for? Do you want to be happy? I think the new thing obviously is going to make you very happy. I don't know what the deck to reach or to get for you guys. Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? You may be traveling soon or going on vacation or again, seeing this new person. They may be traveling. There's a confession here. Somebody has something they want to tell you. Pisces, open up your heart. It's a fire sign. There is somebody who has either a lot of fire in their chart. Their moon is a fire sign you know, that has feelings for you that you may not even be aware of that's hidden. And I just feel like this person would be much better for you. And again, don't get hung up on the sign. If you're dealing with an ex who's a shitty fire sign, that's not who it is. And the new person, maybe they're like an earth sign. That's the person. So hidden love worth waiting for. Somebody's going to treat you well. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. You guys have a great week.